Just a quick disclaimer before we jump into this video. All the objects that you will see in this video aren't base game. When I say that you can make these 8 showers with base game and Discover University only, it means that you can build the shape with it. Of course, there's a lot of base game objects that you can use to decorate your showers differently than mine. This video was just to give you inspiration. So before you harass me in the comments and say that it was clickbait and that is not Discover University and base game, please consider this message. Thanks a lot. Hi everyone, it's Camila. I hope you're all having a great day. If you're new here on the channel, we mostly do speed builds for now. So if that interests you, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But today we are doing some kind of a tutorial video or maybe building tips and tricks. I don't really know how I'm going to call it, but basically it's just to show you how to do um, eight different showers with base game and Discover University. So, um, of course, you all know that we got this beautiful um, shower that you can customize in any way that you want with Discover University, the last um, expansion pack that we got. And yeah, we just can do whatever we want with it, which is really cool. And I just thought that I would give you my ideas. I know that a lot of people already did some of these showers i'm not a genius it's just that i thought that it would be a great video to do and to show you a lot of ideas and inspiration so i will show you how i do this shower and after that i will furnish the bathrooms and there's seven of them and another shower is an outdoor shower so you will be able to have a lot of ideas on how to decorate let's say bathrooms because it's not a room that a lot of people enjoy making i think so yeah i just thought it was a great idea and i think it will help you because i know a lot of people kind of not find any ideas to do bathrooms that are original and I do not exclude myself from that. I know my bathrooms are a little boring sometimes. But yeah, this first shower was kind of Japanese inspired. So as you can see, I used the um, Discover Uni University wall dividers, sorry. And I put some plants in the shower and some decorations to imagine that it was shampoo and also um, shelves. And the second one is more of a modern one. So you just have to put some half walls like that. And I did take like concrete wall thing. I'm not really sure how to explain it. But yeah, just put a half wall like that. And I did a level that was taller than another, but you don't necessarily have to do that in order to do this shower. You will see that really click quickly, sorry. Um, it's a double shower for a couple. And you just have to take two little showers thingy that we got with Discover University. And you put them next to each other. After that, I do like a little de delimitation, I would say, with the floorings. And you can use pretty much whatever flooring that you want. I use also the fences that we got with, um, what is it called again? I think it's, yeah, get to work. And you don't have to use these fences. I just think it delimitates more the shower, but obviously you're not obligated to use it. After that, I used some mirrors because I think that when you put clutter or some objects in the showers, it automatically makes the bathroom more interesting i also did put bamboo and a little like bench where there's beauty products and a little well i don't know what it is <laughs> but i thought it was cute and then i decided to put some shelves between the two showers so i also cluttered it because 
I thought it looked cute and more realistic because in showers obviously you need to have some products maybe soap, shampoo, conditioner because otherwise it doesn't necessarily make something to take your shower um, but yeah and after that I did place a column to like um, show that the three shelves were sticking together and yeah I just started then to decorate the little bathroom it's not my favorite one that I show you today but I think it's only because of the lighting because when you do a room like that and you kind of put two levels the lower level will always look like that in this sort of blue color and I really don't like it I think it makes it look weird so it's just my personal taste but it's not my favorite bathroom that I show you today and I hope you will like them and the others well I have a style for each bathroom and there's two or three modern ones but all the other ones are really unique so I really like what I did with this video and I'm really happy to show you this and this third one would be more of for a kind of traditional looking house and it really looks like the shower that I have at my house so I'm really happy that I did this one in the sims but yeah basically it's just for a maybe a suburban suburban house sorry or something like that so you just build a wall like that you can put columns like i did but you don't have to i just thought that it was cute that way but normally i never put columns there and i think that both ways it looked good and after that you will put some clutter if you want I always love to put some mirrors in the shower because in mine there's one mirror so I guess I'm just used to it so it's just something that I love to do and maybe if you're like removing your makeup in the shower it can help or something like that so I just thought it was a great idea and we're now decorating this bathroom and I really love the end result I love the color scheme though it's just like brown and there's some plants and the stuff so I love how it came out and I hope it will give you ideas because even if this one is pretty simple it looks really good I don't really know what makes it look good but I think that it's pretty much the amount of details that you put in a room that makes it look um, pretty original and unique and maybe also the accent walls and I really love how it came out in the end you will see that but I will put a bath and just um, behind the bath there will be an accent wall yeah like that and I think it has a lot to the room and I really like it but we're moving on on the fourth shower I think and this one is again with alf walls and there will be one diagonal alf wall sorry and after that you will put kind of a different um, flooring and wallpaper behind just to delimitate the shower and I did that for pretty every shower that I showed you um, I think it's really important because that way you see where this is the shower and otherwise I think it would probably look weird and as you can see I just tried to put some columns just to show you how it would look like I prefer it without for this type of shower but you could probably put a column wherever you want after that I added some plants and another mirror that is pretty big this one and I did put some lights like that you don't really have to do that and you can probably use every light that you want if you um, feel like putting a light in your shower but yeah I just thought it was cute but after that I'm moving a bit the object just so I could include a shelf like pretty much in every shower that I do I think <laughs> but yeah I think it looks great in the end and I really love this bathroom I took inspiration from the bathroom that I did 
in not my last build but the other one before and it was the modern beach villa so i pretty much reproduced this bathroom um it's a little different obviously but it really looks the same kind of and i really like how it came out so i hope you will like it too and i think after this one it's another modern one yeah i think it is and yeah i love them all i'm really happy to be able to show you show you that sorry and yeah so this one is going to be pretty um white and black and really basic it pretty much looks like the other one that i did with a more kind of traditional looking vibe but you will just put windows in it so maybe you can put a rectangular one like that but i really wanted to use some bigger windows so you will be able to see that in a second i will use this big one from base game and another one from base game 2 so this one yeah and i will put them in black and i think it looks really really great and obviously it's not the best for privacy but i thought that it could be for a couple maybe this bathroom and i really like it i think it's beautiful and i will be able to show you some details that i love to put in my showers but yeah i'm kind of delimiting as i said once again so the roofing not roofing sorry but the flooring and wallpapers are not the same from the rest of the bathroom i'm putting a little bench because maybe if you want to shave you want to sit on this and yeah put in a second shower so it's a double shower and i also put a shelf and some frames i know it's a bit weird but i figured that the water couldn't really um go on these frames since it's pretty far from the water and last idea for this one i did put a little speaker because i really love to listen to music when i'm in the shower so i think it's cool to have that and maybe you could put it um pretty far from the water so it's not like breaking your speaker but yeah i really like this idea i think it's pretty unique and original and I think that's it for this one. And after that, we have a jungle adventure theme like one. And yeah, it's going to be with an archway. So you could use pretty much every archway that you want. But I went for this one. And basically, you're just going to put still the Discovery University shower. And I didn't put that much details in this one because I thought that... I already showed you a lot of them so yeah just putting this little shower and some plants and as I said a lot of times right now um, the wallpaper and flooring is different and for this one I put the little laundry day kind of bench and I did put the plant on it so I think it was a cute little touch and I really love how this bathrooms look in the end. Um, I did put a bath in the middle and I did use a flooring that came with Vampire Game Pack, I think. And it's the kind of yellow and black one. And I just changed the wallpaper to make it fit. So I think it looks really good in the end and I really wanted to use this flooring. so. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool and yeah, just putting this white wallpaper so it fits and after that, I think it's going to be our last shower. Oh no, we have still two left and I really, really love this one and that's why I did put it pretty much at the end of the video. I think it's the most unique one and I never saw anyone do this one so... Yeah, I just thought it was it was a great idea. You just basically put these walls like that. And at the middle, you put one little wall. And after that, you put windows. You could use pretty much every window that you want. But these ones are my favorite. And after that, you have to put some wallpapers. 
but basically yeah you just do an open shower like that and yeah you just have to delete two walls so you will be able to access it and you put two showers that are kind of separated by this little wall in the middle and yeah after that you can put objects in it and I forgot to mention but for some of the objects that I placed you will have to put bb.moveobjects on so this code um, you only really have to use it if you want to do um, perfectly the showers that I showed you and after that I placed some um, curtains but you don't have to um, I just thought it was a cute little thing so maybe it, it's a bit more private even though I don't think it's the the objective for this shower but yeah I did put also this little table so you'll be able to put some um, decorative objects like that so maybe shampoo and soap stuff, stuff like that so yeah I also placed this one from spa day I thought it looked good and basically we're right now furnishing the bathroom I did put this little bath in this little area with some mirrors and shelves obviously because I feel like shelves are my favorite item of the game because I can put pretty much whatever I want and every clutter that I feel like putting. So yeah, it's probably the thing I use the most. And I'm even using some other shelves there. <laughs> so you can probably tell that I really love this item. But yeah, I just think it's a really great item to put pretty much every clutter that you want and it always makes a room kind of more lived in, I could say. So after this one, we only have one left, if I'm not mistaken, and it will be the outdoor shower that I really, really like. And I made a, it's not a complete home, I just made the walls that you will be able to see right now and a little pool so it would look good in the video and yeah you just have to put a wall maybe with rocks basically that's the wallpaper I use but you could use pretty much every um, wallpaper that you want and I kind of put this shower on a deck and I placed some rock flooring but you don't have to do that you could probably do this shower um, a bit differently and maybe put it on the grass or something and I also wanted to remind you of some wall dividers that we have with in the game so this went from Maskino stuff pack island living vintage glamour see the living this one is pretty um, different and we have this one from dine out and also spa day so yeah just wanted to show you these so you remember that you have these in your game if you have the packs but yeah just wanted to remind you that and yeah i hope you liked this video it was really a pleasure for me to do this one because i'm really happy that i could um show you these little well not tricks but these little ideas and inspiration sorry so i hope you liked it and if it's the case don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on social medias all the links will be down in the description so thank you so much for watching and i wish to you all a great day bye